Hello everyone and welcome to part three. Ah, sorry, I meant part two of our Creo for Beginners series. Um, today I will be continuing our sketch uh, feature. So I will start by opening our saved sketch from the previous video. And as you can see, here is our previous sketch. So we will edit definition. Okay, so we have covered symmetrical um, settings. We have covered center lines. We have covered arches. We have covered straight lines with um, tangent connections. We have covered delete segments. We have covered circles. Um, so the other couple of features that we do have is to create a circular fillet which we can do that select one line select the other line and it will give you the fillet then i say okay then we just can change the dimension so we can make it anything we like which makes it a lot easier but I do prefer doing this once my um, sketch has been extruded with the round feature. Um, I just feel it makes it a little bit more, uh, it, it makes it a little bit less prone to causing issues with the rest of your features. So I don't like to put too much detail in my sketch and rather add it on my extrusion once it's done. But it's up to you if that's part of your sketch that you need to do um, that is the feature and it is as simple as that as clicking on the fillet clicking on the one line clicking on the other line and then just editing the dimension as I've done it is very simple and very effective then our other feature is the fillet feature so chamfer fillet same thing it works very much the same as the round Click one line, click the other line, and boom, gives you a chamfer. So, and then again, just edit the dimensions. <coughs> and voila, done deal. Um, so, those are your basic ones. And then you also have your point feature, which if you would like to just add a random point, um, to reference from instead of doing a whole sketch it's literally what it says it is a point so you can put the point there and then it will give you the option of giving dimensions this one has now been placed in line with this chamfer so it will only adjust that dimension but if I select another one and I put it say, there it will give me two dimensions always and so I can move it left right up down according to those dimensions so that is your point feature then your dimension feature which is again very simple click your dimension click on the line you want to measure center click above it and voila but this feature will change depending on where you click so if I click for instance on the chamfer now and I click below it it will give me that dimension but if I click on that line and then that line and then below it it will give it to me in that way so it does depend how you hit the enter or the center button on your mouse and where you hit it will change it depending on what you require but uh, i mean if it's not what you want it's very easy to delete it um, i mean deleting a dimension is as easy as clicking on it and pushing delete and boom it's gone it's out of there so then the other features that we have done if i take a line and i draw a line a straight line but slightly skew but i want it 
vertical there is a vertical feature so on your constraints there is a vertical feature so we click on the vertical feature we select a line which is this one and boom vertical same thing with the horizontal if i do it slightly out like that and i want it horizontal again we go to the horizontal feature click on the line and voila so very simple very easy features um once you know which are which are which the there are other other features so again if i draw a line now at that angle and i draw another line this side at a slightly different angle but i would like them to be the same angle so then very simple again select your come on select your parallel feature select the one that you want to keep first and then select the second one and boom oh there boom <clears throat> sorry my computer seems to have had a slight delay there but boom so now they are both parallel angles so now if i change the one angle if i change this now to say 45 degrees they will both be 45 degrees if i change it to 60 degrees boom same degrees so there's your parallel feature um then we have another feature here which is your text feature so with your text feature once you have clicked on there as it says here select start point of line to determine text height and orientation so very simple thing that i have learned over time is if you click and you drag it down and you put your text in it is going to i will show you text it is going to put it upside down see there as you can see here it is upside down but if i click my text feature and i click and i drag it up and i put my text in so this is just a small tip that will help you a lot so if you want it upright you always click bottom drag up if you want it upside down you click top and drag down so as you can see if i put in text now it is the right height okay now if my text needs to be bigger smaller longer shorter i can <coughs> I can put in a reference dimension so I'm just removing my equal links because I made it equal links by accident so now if I want to change it normally you would just click on that dimension you would change it to say 25 and it will change the actual size of your text or there is another way to do it you can actually just click on the top and move it around as well that's the other option you have um if you click on the bottom it will change the size of the text as you can see okay so you can do it manually or you can do it by typing the size in there okay then on your same text feature you have another little feature here so if you go properties you can change the color you can change the type of line that it is you can change the style you can select the line so those are just a few of the features i'm not going to delve into that right now but those are your features on your um, properties then if you select it again right click and you go modify so again select my text right click I will hold my right click in so until the menu pops up then I hit modify then you will see you get back to this menu then you can change the text to what you want if it's a different type of text you want to change you can change your font 
So there are a few fonts here, so I can say times, uh, times bold, say grotesque bold. Um, I can go Microsoft Shannon, simple. Then again, another feature, we can change the angle of the text with the slanted feature. So you can play with that. Then the other feature, which you probably use more often, um, once you've hit your text and you've typed what you want to type, it might end up being a little bit too long or a little bit too short. You can change your aspect ratios so your text can get shorter and longer depending on what you need. Um, because obviously not always it's not always the case that the height and the length match. So um, that's a nice little feature that you can use to make it fit. Um, yeah, you can place it along a curve. So if you've got a curve, the text can follow the curve. Um, yeah, it's quite a nice little feature. This I use quite often for the laser cutting um, to put text in or notes or whatever into the plates that we use. Uh, it is very helpful and it is quite a nice little feature to use. Um, so yes, um, try it out, use it. Um, and again, as I've said before in my videos, like, subscribe and share the videos please guys. And if you have any comments or questions, please just hit it at the bottom of the, of the video and I will get back to you with an answer or a video to respond to it. Or even if you want to email it, I will put my email in the um, description again if you want to hit me up with the email no problem okay so moving forward okay then we hit okay that'll be your text then we've done I think that's basically it that's majority of your features as I've said it's not I wouldn't say it's all of them but those are 99% of the ones that you're going to be using um, there are obviously a few other settings and so on that you can use. I will give you a little bit of a secret, not a secret, but an extra little tip tonight. Um, so once I've got my text, whatever, there is a setting that you need to check or if you want to change the actual um, units, you can go to file scroll down to properties and it will open up the model property menu then from here if you go to your units there it says inch pound seconds pro e default you can change it so click change you can go to centimeter grand foot pound i mean it's got all these different ones um I generally work in millimeters kilogram second so then what I would do is I would click millimeters kilogram second and I would hit set <clears throat> once I hit set it will ask you convert dimensions example one becomes 25.4 millimeters so meaning the inches that I've now used will become it will directly just change the actual dimension to millimeters meaning it will retain the size or interpret dimensions meaning change one inch into one millimeter which then the size of the actual item will change according to that but then your dimensions will stay the same so if it's one inch it will then become one millimeter where on convert dimensions one inch will become 25.4 uh, millimeters so it just depends which one you want i generally use this one because i start drawing and then i change it to millimeters but again it depends on your application depends what you want to do it depends what you need um so nice little nice little extra piece there so you hit okay close it will automatically be there so then all i do is i hit close again and save then Every time you open this specific drawing or part or sketch or extrusion, it will be in the units that you have selected. So it's a nice little feature, um, a nice little extra thing that I've shown you guys. It's not a major thing and a lot of you probably won't even use it, but for people that are working in inches, millimeters and changing between the two, 
that is a nice little feature to use um very simple and i do actually appreciate that feature a lot because a lot of times i need to just change it to a different unit and it does save me a lot of time so yeah that's it for tonight um i hope you guys enjoyed the video this is part two um i will be posting part three um later or in the next video I post which will be um where we start extrusions and so on and yeah uh please again like subscribe follow the channel um share the videos uh hit me up with comments like i said questions comments whichever um and thank you for watching my video thanks guys i do appreciate it and once again this is uh the custom cad man and i hope you guys have a great great day or evening further and i hope to see you guys soon cheers